Well, good evening everyone. Dave here again with episode number four of my What Sold on eBay series. Which is kind of ironic because it's the only series I've got on my eBay channel right now. But hey, thanks for stopping by and watching it. Like I said, my name is Dave and I am a part-time reseller on eBay. Pretty much exclusive eBay. I've tried Amazon FBA before and just wasn't for me. I like I like being on eBay. I like providing things that people can go hunt for. I used to pretty much exclusively sell clothing, but I've really branched out into other things, as you'll see today. So we'll go ahead and show everything that we sold during this time frame. It was about 25 items. I'll try to remember what I paid for it. Took a best offer on most of the things this go round, just trying to increase sales. And if there's any uh, unique stories about it, I'll tell you that too. So let's get started. We'll obviously pick up where we left off last time, but right here, Southern Tide uh, shirt. This is definitely a bolo, and while mine was listed for $18.99, I had originally listed it for $24, which I should have gotten for it, but uh, it just wasn't selling, and I kept lowering the price, and finally I got frustrated, which is, you know, a big no-no. You just have to be patient, and I wanted it gone. So I accepted a best offer of like $16, and you know, anyone who's an experienced reseller, and even some who aren't, can look at this picture and see exactly why it didn't sell for what I wanted. Look how absolutely awful and wrinkled this shirt is. So I would strongly suggest to everyone that you spend a little time and you know make them a little bit more presentable than I did in this, but... You know, it was one of my new things. I was so excited when I found a Southern Tide because down here in South Texas, you don't find those very often. And I just ran right home and listed it really quick. So, but hey, live and learn. This was a 1958 uh, Lutheran uh, service book and hymnal. It was in spectacular condition. And I sold it fairly quickly. I took a best offer of $20 on it. I'm only into it a buck. And the gentleman received it, and not even 20 minutes after eBay showed that he got it, he sent me a note requesting a refund, saying that it was in poor condition and it wasn't as listed. And I was like, you know, I responded immediately saying, hey, I'm so sorry, but, you know, I sent you the book that was in the picture. You know, did you review the pictures and everything and he's like yes I did and in the pictures it didn't show that someone very poorly tried to scrape off somebody's name and at this point I knew the guy was part of me was thinking bad things but then the other part of me was like this guy must be confused with something else because this book was pristine for being 1958 it was pristine had a little blemish on the back from a price tag that pulled off pulled some of the paint of the leather off but still and so I sent him a note saying hey can you can you send me pictures of that part and you know and we'll, we'll work this out and so probably an hour later I just get a straight up refund request and so I molded over for a few minutes and I was like you know what this is just not worth the heartache I'm only into it a buck I haven't spent the money yet so let me just send him his money back and so I did that, and I tell you what, I stewed over that for a few days. Then, like three days later, I woke up, and my PayPal account dinged that this guy had sent me all the money back. And it had a little note attached to it saying, hey, I'm really sorry I got mixed up on my books. So, you know what, it all worked out, and I actually ended up not getting charged all the fees on eBay and PayPal because he resent me the money via friends and family. So that was kind of nice. This is a Bible, and it is an interesting one. I found this one at a garage sale. It did have a little nameplate on the inside, but it was in otherwise great shape. Uh, I got sent a best offer of, I think, $16.50 on this, and the comps were in the $25 to $30 range, but they were new, and the pre-owned ones didn't have any markings or anything in it and since this one did and it had literally been like three hours since I listed it and I was only into this Bible a quarter from a garage sale I took it and got it the heck out of here 
and they left feedback as soon as they got it. This is, next one is hands down my best sale I've had as of the date of this video. Uh, so this was, uh, I was at an estate sale and we got there and this gentleman was just talking my ear off and it was okay. You could tell it was his sister's house and he was really proud of her. But um, this was a Willie Nelson and Daryl Royal Invitational Jacket. And I looked all over eBay and I could not find any of these. And I thought, well, this has to be something special. And when we were at this guy's, this lady's house, I mean, she had so much University of Texas stuff. And it turned out, I found out that, you know, she had gotten her doctorate there and she had been a teacher there during the 70s and 80s. And tons of pictures everywhere of her and Daryl Royal and even a picture with Willie Nelson. And I was like, okay, this thing is real. And I just took a shot in the dark and put it up for $100 thinking like, yeah, nobody's ever going to send that to me. And lo and behold, 15 days later, I got a best offer of $80. And it took everything I had not to hit accept immediately. So I just wanted to let it let it sit for a few so I gave it a couple hours and then I accepted it and they paid immediately and I uh it's been a while now because you know I'm creating this video in July and you can see I sold it in June 18th but um you know I hope that they're happy with it I know I was thrilled with it I I had it hanging up I was gotta tell you I was pretty sad to see it go but because who knows if I'll ever find another one uh, for those of you who watched my video before, you know I used to sell tools locally. Uh, this is another one of those hex key sets that I got out. This is an old hand planer that I could not figure out what brand it was. It had a Star of David right here on this piece. But, uh, you know, it sold in two days for $24.99. And I thought that was fantastic, so I shipped it out of here. Next, this is a great shirt brand to find. The brand is called Cool. At least I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, I was into this a couple bucks. It sold in 30-something days. And I got my full asking price of $21.99. Uh, we'll do these two together here. These two shirts, this Campia Moda and... Uh, I've heard this pronounced so many different ways, I'm not even going to try it. But uh, these were two of the first things I ever bought when I was trying to get into reselling and not knowing any better and not really knowing how to look up comps. Um, I got them. I finally ended up just, you know, after four or five months of having them up, I just wanted to be done with all the stuff. So I went ahead and sold them because I figured selling it for something is better than selling it for nothing. Uh, took a little bit of a loss on these, but that's okay. I just was happy to have them gone and try to recoup a little bit of my money. Another pair of shoes. I have been trying to blast through these because this was the very first thing I started selling on eBay. But I uh, took a best offer on these of $22. I bought this shirt here, this new with Tags Magellan. This was actually, I got this at the same estate sale that I got that Willie Nelson jacket at. And I'd actually picked this up first before I'd seen the other ones. They were kind of hidden behind it. And the guy had wanted a, like a dollar for this. And he wanted, at first he told me he wanted a dollar for everything. And uh, I was like, okay, sure. And he's like, well, wait, no, that jacket I want $5. And there was another Willie Nelson thing. He wanted five dollars for as well, and I was like, "Well, I tell you what, I'll give you the five bucks for those, but you gotta throw this in for free." So this shirt was pretty much entirely profit. Nine bucks got full asking price. I had put it on sale, you can see there, but uh, they bought it, and I was happy. I was at a church sale, same one I got that hand planer at, and I saw these. I had actually gone back a second time later that evening. Because I got in there when it opened, and then I, it was just so many people. I got what I could, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get out of here, and I'll come back later, see what's left. And uh, these are a pair of uh, paintball pants. They thought they were motocross pants, but 
Um, this is definitely a bolo, guys. Keep an eye out for these. Uh, comps were in the $50 to $60 range, but I wanted to experiment, so I listed them up at $70, as you can see. And it took about 20 days or so, but I did get a best offer of $55, and so I took it. And what was great about that is I only paid a dollar for these, so good profit. Very good profit. Uh, Brooks Brothers. Uh, this is a size 2XL. Uh, I think that eBay is completely flooded with Brooks Brothers. You know, Brooks Brothers, Polo, all those. Uh, but, you know, after three months of having this shirt listed, it finally sold. It sold for full asking price. And on top of that, it actually had a little pinhole, had two little pinholes in the back. And when it sold, I emailed the guy ahead of time saying, hey, just making sure you saw the pictures that it had it on there. And he replied back, yeah, hey, I saw it. No problem. I still want it. I said, okay. And I dropped it in the mail to the guy, and he got it. And, and I haven't heard any complaining, so. Uh, this is my I was way too nice about item. This was a, uh, I picked this up as a gift for somebody for Christmas, and then I never ended up giving it to them because, you know, I didn't see them. And then three months later when I saw them, I thought it would be really awkward to give them a Christmas gift. So I had ended up putting this up, and it sold pretty quick, about a week or two. And I took a best offer of like $18 on it. And uh, then they didn't they didn't pay, and like three days later, I was about to open a case on them. They sent me a note with a sob story about how they just needed a little bit more time, and I was like, okay, fine. And then like another couple days go by, and he sent me another note, and then finally, so like long story short, like nine days after he bought this, he finally paid for it, and so, uh, but I figured, you know what, it's not Christmas time. These are a little tough sell right now. I might as well just hold out. So I did, and I got paid, So, and they were happy. This is another wool and prints shirt. I had this listed for $60. You may remember that my very first episode of the series, I had shown two of these that I had sold. Uh, I've sold four of these total now. They've all gone for at least $50. Uh, it's a great shirt to find. I think I didn't get as much as the other ones, though, just because it's the middle of summer right now. The other ones, it was still kind of late spring. I probably could have held out on this, but, you know, I was into this shirt, five bucks, and they were offering me 50, so I just really didn't want to turn that down. This is another one of those shirts that had been here since day one, so I was just clearing that out. You can see with my shipping prices on these things, I'm I'm kind of experimenting with it, but I pretty much settled to where, you know, all my shirts and clothing items, I pretty much do at just a $5 flat rate. Everything else I'm starting to do um, calculated shipping. Sorry, I had to think what it was called there. A pair of, a pack of VHS tapes. I found these at the Salvation Army. And I just grabbed them, and then uh, I was at a, where did I find it? Oh, I found this uh, extra one at the bins the other day. And I just went ahead and threw it in, and the guy sent me a message saying, hey, would you take, uh, I think I had it listed for 30, I think I had it listed for 40 or 45. And a guy sent me a note asking if I would take uh, the 34.99. And so I sent the guy a note back with a direct offer in the email in case it sold earlier than that while he was thinking about it with the offer. And I said, sure. And so I think I was into this. Let's see, I paid, I think, $4 for this pack. And you can see it's still in the plastic and everything. It was starting to come apart here. but um, And then this tape was like a quarter. So, you know, $4.25 and the $34. Plus they played shipping. Um, what I think is interesting, and I've been keeping an eye on the guy's eBay account too. Uh, he's clearly he's a reseller as well and sells all these. But you know what? I, I I didn't care because if he wanted to just pay me all I was asking for, and if he wants to go try and sell it for double that, which I don't think he will, because these are just standard def. Um, you know, hey, more power to him. Moving along, almost to the end here of June. 
Uh, just another pair of shoes. These are um, the Nike Zoom. These are uh, uh, running shoes, sprinting shoes, I think. And I got my full asking price of twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. And those these were great because since they're a size nine, they fit in a padded flat rate envelope, so I was able to get them out pretty cheap. Uh, this was a book that I uh, excuse me a D Blu ray that I found at um, the Dollar Tree of all places, and it had it had good comps. It was selling quite a bit. And of course, as it always happens, uh, you can see here it's trending at five ninety nine, but don't let that mislead you. That's most of those are with free shipping, and I don't like to do free shipping. I like to really disclose, like, hey, look, you're paying this and you're paying this, because uh, I know I like that when I'm purchasing things. Um, but anyways, yeah, I sold it for two bucks, got two seventy five shipping, and yeah, that was that. So, you know, nothing fancy this guy time, guys. Uh, you know, we did have a couple really great sales. Of course, you know, the big winners were this wool and print shirt. Definitely these paintball pants and this here, this willy. So, uh, all I can say, guys, is just keep an open mind when you're out and about. When you're estate sailing and you're you're thrifting and you're, you're looking for things. Um, also... Uh, don't be afraid to list things around your house. I've said that before. And so uh, you never know what some, what you don't want anymore. Somebody else does. And it may take a while. You may have to sit on it. But, hey, you do that, and then you've got money that you didn't have before. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like the video and you want to see more, obviously, subscribe, like. You can hit the little bell. It'll tell you when I post. Uh, I haven't been posting a lot lately, but I promise I'm going to get better. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'm happy to answer it. And other than that, I will see you next time, guys. Until then, have a great one.